There's 50,000 women in Gaza right now who are pregnant without any maternity care. There are women who are having babies by C-section without any anesthesia, no pain relief, no aftercare, no homes to go to. There are 15,000 children dead. There are girls using tent scraps for, sanit for sanitation, hygienic reasons. They don't have access to toilets. There's no privacy. If I'm not here today for the Palestinian women, then it's just, it's, it's a shame. We have to be. This is a feminist issue. There are women in Palestine who have absolutely nothing and the world has forgotten them. So it's, it's obvious. It's obvious that all of us should be here for the women of Palestine um, because we are all Palestine. It's, it's really that simple. And we're here with some great Palestinian flags, banners, because the key question of this day is to free Palestine. International Women's Day was a socialist, feminist, initiated day um, and it was about international solidarity. If we're going to be true to the history and the important revolutionary tradition of IWD, we're going to free Palestine, demand an end to the war on Gaza and to stop the genocide. I think this is a really hard women's day. Um, my Palestinian friends, whether they are women, children or men, are hurting. Their families are currently being bombed and it's International Women's Day and our government is being quiet about what's happening to Palestinian women. Um, and being at a Women's Day rally where there's barely any display of solidarity for Palestine, I think it's really difficult um, seeing how genocide can be denied while it's happening. Looking at the speakers list and seeing that not a single speaker is from Palestine. Palestine is on my mind this International Women's Day. The genocide in Gaza has to stop. It has to be stopped immediately and Australia can play a role in pressuring Israel to stop immediately. Women and children, but not just them. The whole of Gaza is, is, is being obliterated. And uh, International Women's Day was always about empowering and strengthening women. This is the one thing that we can do right now when a genocide is taking place to put maximum pressure on the Israeli government. Labor once stood for Palestine. Where is it now? It is silent.